If you like Ingrid Bergman, you should definitely watch our picks for her best movies. But I haven't hidden it. I swear I haven't. Why should I? Why should? Don't look at me like that. Number 10. Dr. Winston asked me to make an appointment for a lady friend of mine. How about a week from Tuesday at 7 a.m.? Cactus Flower is a comedy film directed by Gene Sachs. Ruthlessly criticizing relationships while telling a cynical story of scams and betrayal, Cactus Flower introduces us to the suicidal 21-year-old Tony, who is in desperate need of her middle-aged lover. But he is married with three children and must first secure a quick divorce. In his perfect plan, he recruits his lovelorn nurse to pose as his wife. But what if things aren't what they seem? I'm asleep at 7 a.m. Oh, I thought the appointment was for a lady. That's right. We're both asleep at 7 a.m. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hope I haven't shocked you. No, but it must be a terrible shock for her. Number nine. Perhaps we get hurt too easily. Tell me that you love me. Well, if I do, will you promise not to take advantage of me? Journey to Italy is a drama film directed by Roberto Rossellini. Exploring marriage and love through a lens of cynicism and straight-up cruelty, Journey to Italy sees a married couple on a trip to Italy whose marriage is on the brink of collapse. Hoping to find a buyer for their house on the Gulf of Naples, they realize that they don't know anything about each other. Will this foreign couple find insight and direction in Italy? I don't want you to hate me. I don't want it to finish this oh, way. Catherine, what are you driving at? The game are you trying to play? You've never understood me. You've never even tried. Now this nonsense. What is it you want? Nothing. I despise you. Well, come on, let's get out of this car. Number eight. This field um, with um, uh, Miss uh, Debenham, a very nice young lady from Baghdad. Murder on the Orient Express is a mystery film directed by Sidney LeMay. Adapted from the infamous detective novels, this classic thrill ride sees the world's best detective enjoying a relaxing train ride home after solving a case. However, when a famous billionaire is found dead, any passenger on board could be the perpetrator. With motives of greed and revenge all around, Hercule Poirot takes on the case to solve a puzzle larger than anyone involved. She sleep just like me. Ah, if you were fast asleep, how could you be so sure she did not leave? She more commission. I can hear snake breeze. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Gypsies? No, but that's not possible. Oh, they're always around here. The Visit is a drama film directed by Bernard Wicke. With a premise as shocking as it is intriguing, The Visit sees a beautiful young woman shamed out of her hometown after being impregnated by an affair with a man who denies being the father. However, years later, she returns with a large amount of money and offers the poor citizens of her former home wealth, under the condition that the baby's father dies. But it's almost exactly like... like the first time. Or don't you remember? Yes. Number six. Why did you go to live with a woman with a reputation like hers? Europe 51 is an Italian neo-realistic film directed by Roberto Rossellini. Reflecting on post-World War II Europe in horrifyingly honest manner, this exploration of guilt, grief, and sanity follows a single-minded upper-class woman on her failing journey to help the poor. Traumatized by the death of her son, her new devotion will soon bring conflict with her husband and raise questions about her decision-making. It would take too, too long to explain. Perhaps I don't know. I myself. Number five. I'm sorry about that kissing bug. I'm glad you didn't dream of me as an egg beater as one of my patients did. Spellbound is a psychological thriller film directed by Alfred Hitchcock. In this instant classic, legendary director Hitchcock takes on new topics to tell a thrilling mystery in his known class. When a psychiatrist arrives at a mental clinic to replace the outgoing hospital director, he is revealed to be an imposter. Afraid he has killed the man whose identity he took but unable to recall the deed, he is helped by the director to recall what happened through psychoanalysis. Well, does it make any sense to you what I dreamed? Not yet. You are trying to tell yourself something. What it is, we'll figure out later. There's a lot more to it. Go on and try to recall the details. Number four. I never knew what happened to the other glove. I used to ask her sometimes, but she'd only laugh and say she'd given it away. Gaslight is a psychological thriller film directed by George Cukor. 
This classic tale of betrayal and passion follows the troubled young Paula, who, upon falling in love with a man in Italy, sees a new life by his side. But when she starts living with him in London, strange things start happening around the house, and growing ever more paranoid, she must question the intentions of her estranged husband. I was in bed and something woke me. I've never known what. I came running down the stairs, frightened as if I knew what had happened. Number 3 Notorious, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. In Hitchcock's take on a war drama, we enter the lives of spies and soldiers who built dangerous relationships. While planning to take down Nazi war criminals who are hiding around the globe, two American and German spies get tangled up in a romance that soon becomes serious, with stakes higher than ever when the enemy is on their tracks. I can't make it because they gave me pills to sleep. Keep awake. Keep talking. You got a coat. In the closet. Number two. Det var bara genom musiken som jag fick möjlighet att visa mina känslor. Autumn Sonata is a drama film written and directed by Ingmar Bergman. Depicting an unresolved tension within the parent-child dynamic, Autumn Sonata invites us on a raw and honest exploration of trauma and despair. Having lived as a professional pianist, completely estranged from her daughter, Charlotte's life is turned upside down when a fateful night from the past forces her to confront her daughter, Eva. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. You see, sister. Yes, Mr. Bogart. I've never had any children of my own. And I've never even liked children. And they don't like me. Why don't people like you? You saw her? What did she say? Did she? I did not see her. What did he say? He was very charming. I like him much more than I thought I would from your description. Do you? Don't you want me to? I want you to make him like you more than he thought he would. I cannot take that message. To me, killing is a mortal sin. You're a citizen of China, you will obey its laws. When the laws of China conflict with the laws of my faith, I know which one to obey. Number one. You are our last hope. If you don't help us, Victor Lazlo will die in Casablanca. What of it? I'm gonna die in Casablanca. It's a good spot for it. Casablanca is a romantic drama film directed by Michael Curtis. Popularly described as Hollywood's quintessential statement about love and romance, and without doubt one of its most important influences, Casablanca is a nostalgic yet lonesome memory of lost love. When a nightclub owner finds his old flame is in Casablanca during World War II, he sets off to help her escape the country, while her husband is framed as a dangerous rebel. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments! If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.